But in the theory that McDonald's has one of the shittier cheeseburgers but sells more of them than anyone else, again, people in large numbers are watching Raw or sleeping through Raw with the show on to catch what's going to happen with Cody and what's going to happen with the bloodline. Am I basically right? Is there anything else going on that anybody gives a shit about? You know, I would put Judgment Day in the mix just because I think there is something happening with that, whether it's the Dominic reactions and people wanting to be a part of that. Yeah. Well, or, and, and their their current uh, anti protagonist is Cody, so that's part of that thing in there. And Rhea Ripley, we know, yes. Okay, I apologize. But that's about it. Who are you apologizing to, me or Rhea? I apologize to you that I didn't mention Rhea and the... Rhea and Priest and Dominic... Almost all the Judgment Day. Otherwise, is there, again, is there anything, is anybody tuning in for the ongoing adventures of Alpha Academy featuring Shoosh Boy and Model Girl? I can't imagine who enjoys that. So that's, uh, and and we'll talk about, I can't remember, uh, the ratings for last Monday's Raw were again well in, uh, well up near 2 million, were they not? I don't have them in front of me. Hold on. Give me a second. I will All right. Well, we'll, I'll just vamp, as Bill Behrens would say, while you do that. But the point that I was making about the whole thing is we know that SmackDown again last week did big numbers, and I expect that it's going to be fucking huge again for the one that took place last night as we're doing the first part of this program, Friday night, June 30th, because of the big Roman Reigns solo Usos confrontation in the main event. And I'm saying there's literally nothing else happening on these WWE programs that you would think anybody would give two shits about, but their ratings are going up. Raw, on average, did 1,973,000 viewers. They and and if you have that information in front of you, where did they? St what was the hours? Where did they start? What was nine o'clock, ten o'clock, and eleven o'clock? Eight o'clock, or wait, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying. The eight o'clock was two million one hundred and twenty-nine thousand viewers. Nine o'clock, two million one hundred and thirty-two thousand viewers. Ten o'clock, one million nine hundred and sixty-five thousand viewers. And the final quarter, 10.45 to 11 p.m., Cody versus uh, Damian Priest with picture and picture. No, no picture and picture. Uh, 1,744,000 viewers. Okay, so they lost uh, 300 and what is that? 385,000 people from start to finish of a three-hour program, which is... Somewhere around 50, uh, let's say 16, 18% as I'm eyeballing it of the audience. But for the first two hours, they only lost a hundred. Is that? Yes. That would be a hundred and uh, basically 164,000 people, which would be a little over five, maybe six or 7% of what they started with. Looking at the data that WrestleNomics uh, has here. It follows the trend line. I mean, everything was primarily above 2 million until right before 10 o'clock, and then it's the 10 o'clock hour. You go from 1,965,000 to 1,795, and then you kind of settle down and go back up for the main event, but it follows the trend each and every week. And they've since uh, Roman is on SmackDown now, uh, they have kicked this thing in the ass. SmackDown's biggest rated quarter... More often than not now, if Roman is on last or the Bloodline business is on last, that's the the last 15 minutes is the highest rated part of the show. We've been saying it. They train the audience to know, check in with the show, see what's going on. Maybe you like one of the wrestlers, but you better be there for the last 15 minutes. 